What's going on guys, welcome to the Hardcore Iron Man episode number 11. So the last two videos we were working towards going to Winter Todd. I trained some smithing to get my fletching up, got my woodcutting level up, all to get magic logs for desert treasure. We managed to obtain those along with a lot of other juicy things. 800k cash stack, these are the stats, over 1000 total and 136 quest points. We are working towards Barrow's Gloves, we are getting closer and closer. I managed to get full Ranar Seeds from Winter Todd, which is going to be super helpful. We are one level away from making prayer pots and of course when we start training Slayer, they're going to come in handy and also from Slayer we're just going to get loads and loads of seeds. So because I'm an Iron Man, it's going to force me to do farming because I have to. I need the herbs to obviously make potions for supplies. Time to do some crafting now. Get 40 crafting for the family crest quest, which will give us the cooking gauntlets and also the goldsmith gauntlets and chaos gauntlets. Whether I'll use them or not, we'll see. There we have it. There is 40 crafting. This quest and um, the boss fights in the wilderness uh, by the chaos druids. We have to go past the chaos druids. So this is a pretty risky quest. We are walking through the wilderness. We have got salmon to tank with. <laughs> Fuck a man. This is a death trap right now. We could easily get Gmold out. I'm 51 HP for God's sake. Oh my God. Yeah, unfortunately for you guys, no, I did not die and we last another episode, hopefully. But yeah, let's go get our goldsmith gauntlets. Let's get 46 crafting for the Fremenic Isles quest. If you don't know what this does, it basically doubles the XP when smelting gold ore. And smelting gold bars of the blast furnace is very good XP. However, pretty costly though. But I have some gold ore in the bank from Motherload Mine and also Winter Todd, so yeah. Yeah, so basically, as you can see, look how much smithing XP we get. 1,500. I'm not really here for the smithing XP, but I'll take it. Right, I'm actually going to keep quite a lot of gold bars. I was going to make them into bracelets because they sell for 330 each. But this is going to be super useful for all the jewelry that I've got. The best way, yeah, would be to buy buckets of sand and soda ash from the charter ships. But that's pretty much impossible with the hardcore Iron Man coming out because every single person's doing that. And that would take forever. So what I'm going to do instead is buy silver ore from the blast furnace. And what we're going to do, we're going to smelt these into silver bars at the blast furnace. And we're going to make them into tiaras, which grant 52.5 XP per tiara made. That should hopefully be enough silver ore. I've still got some molten glass left to make as well. So I'm hoping this should get me 46 crafting if my calculations are correct. There we go, we made all the bars, now let's get smith. A pretty good alternative method would be to make these into silver bolts and then you can fletch them there for obviously fletching XP, but for 420 bars, I'm only gonna get 10K fletching XP, so it's just really not worth it. So I can sell these for about 20K cash. So at least we get a little bit back. Perfect, two molten glass left, 46 crafting, which is a cabin fever requirement, and of course the Fremnic Isles like I was on about. Also, we can make those orbs, so if I ever decide to do crafting, I can make battle staffs and make a lot of money with that. Next, I am going to cut these gems, and whilst we got the gold bars and we're right next to a furnace, I'm going to make loads of jewellery. Going to make myself some games necklaces. Right, that'll be enough jewellery for one day. we got 47 crafting. Right, so that'll be an extra 45 games necklaces. 62 magic, 64 ring of jewelings. So we're going to the general store in Ardi to sell these tiaras whilst we're here. Another 200 death runes, thank you very much. Time to do the Edgar's Ruse. Pretty long quest, but it's going to give us a big chunk of Herblore XP. There we go. 37 to level 40 Herblore, which means we can finally make prayer potions. Finally. That's going to be really helpful for obvious reasons. And also we can use the Trollheim teleport. Big Chompy Bird quest complete, which is a requirement for Recipe for Disaster and also required to complete the Zoga Flesh Eaters, which is then required to complete the Rum Deal quest. 140 quest points. 38 range. Holy shit, man. I've been doing so much herblore and I've finally been able to make myself some super re Nah, I'm joking. You get them from this quest. So I'm not complaining. Let's do Zoga Flesh Eaters. Praise the Lord. This could take a while, but I need to get 45 prayer. Well, actually, I need 47 prayer for the rum deal quest. However, you can boost from level 45 if you use the Edgeville Monastery. So I'm going to be killing blue dragons, get a full inventory, go to the Ector file, and hopefully that should give us 45 prayer. Also, we need to get 63 magic at least for the Swan Song quest. Oh, yeah, hopefully we don't have a repeat of Mr. Mammal and Wooks. This is the exact spot they both died, so... Yeah, this spot is probably Jinx. And there's the last kill. That didn't quite get a 63 magic, but yeah, we're going to go use this on the Ecto. I'm hoping this should be enough for 45 prayer. Is it? 
Yes, <laughs> just about. Now we have 25 construction. I'm pretty sure I can move my house to Zaya. Yes, because Zay is such a pain to get to. Like, I'm going AFK in Sand Crabs now. Try and get 60 attack. It's going to take a long time, but it just takes forever to get to. So, now my house is in Zay. That's very nice. And also, when we get the Hasidious Favor, we can also use the Herb Patch there. And that's going to be quite useful to get to. And we end up here. Sand Crabs are just here. And the herd patch is over there. So yeah, plan for now is to slowly work towards 60 attack because I'm going to need to get 40 Slayer for the Rum Deal quest and also one of the Miscellanea quests. So that's going to take quite a while, especially with a Rune Skimitar. So Dragon Skimitar would be beautiful. Literally just opened up a random casket. Got myself a Cosmic Talisman. I didn't even know these could drop them. So that's going to save time in the future, I guess, for when I RuneCraft Cosmic Runes. A few hours later... Level 60 attack. That is fucking awesome, man. We can finally get rid of the rune scimitar. Because, like, there's so many quest bosses and stuff I have to kill during quests, and it just takes forever. So, yeah, we're moving up in the world. Let's go get the dragon scimitar. Here we go. Here's the dragon scimitar. Purchase for 100k. No problem. And then the dragon battle axe, which is going to be insane for doing Slayer. I was thinking about getting a dragon dagger as well, but if I'm using dragon battle axe like all the time, it's not really necessary to bring a DDS. So yeah, let's equip them. That is looking a lot more juicier. Uh, we just sort of need to get rid of that. Replace that with the dragon defender. Get Barrow's gloves. Get a glory. Get a fire cape. And we'll be balling. Healthy. Not dead, Rana. That is exactly what I like to see. I cannot wait to start Kingdom. When I have enough money for Kingdom and uh, when I start Slayer, we're going to get so many herbs from farming and everything. Full healthy runners. And also, we've got some Tovlax seed, and after that, I run out. But yeah, this is going to give some sick prayer potions. Going to make ourselves our first lot of prayer potions. So whilst I'm here, I'm just going to gather a few inventories so I don't have to come back here for quite a while. And plus, I'm pretty sure by the time you pick up the last one, they start spawning again. Yeah, you don't even have to hop. This is OP. And there's a bank over there, which is pretty cool. Be curious to where this is. It's just on this island, and then you can bank in here. Right, that'll be enough for now. 172 snake grass. I didn't actually realize I had so many ranars. That is fucking sick. I could do with getting 45 herblore, because then we can make super attack potions. And of course, with the dragon battle axe, that is going to be super helpful. See this XP? Oh, that is beautiful, man. That is beautiful. Here are the first prayer potions made on the account. Up to now, I've just had to prayer flake. It's not really been much of a problem, but... Yeah, prep potions are pretty much necessary later game. Got us 42 herbal. Right, we need to keep chipping away at agility. I really need that graceful. We're not too far off. Still fucking hours away. Let's do some strength training. Currently 56 strength with the dragon battle axe. Uh, we need to pot up twice for the first one because it drains our attack. And then pot up again. And we should be good. Let's do this. Damn, there we go. Level 60 strength, 60 attack. I'm going to start training defense. I want to get 55 defense so I can wield the helm of neat is not when we complete the Fremnic Isles. Also, level 70 combat. So when I do get void for training ranged, uh, yeah, we can board the medium boat. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? As you can see in the top right hand corner, 5.4 million XP. What have I been up to for hours and hours and hours grinding? Are you ready for this? Boom. Level 67 attack. Level 65 strength. We can access the Warrior's Guild. We can get ourselves a Dragon Defender. Also 55 defense for the Helm and is not. 63 HP and level 77 combat. All I've been doing is training, training, and training. We're going to be ready to get ourselves the 40 Slayer. We can get ourselves the Barrow's Gloves. We can get a Dragon Defender, get Glory, get a Fire Cape. Times are good. Just before we end, I have a cousin who also plays this game called Tall Vernix. And you guys wouldn't be watching this video, and I wouldn't be playing this game if it wasn't for this guy. He got me into the game originally, and we've been talking about RuneScape for years and years and years. We both have a massive passion for the game. I've been talking to him about YouTube for years as well. And I told him for the longest time to make a YouTube channel, and he's finally had the courage to make a YouTube channel, and he's continuing my legacy of the Road to Ellie series, the series that you guys all used to love and watch. And he has no idea that I'm doing this right now, so if we can all take him by surprise, showing loads of love on his channel by subscribing, by commenting on his videos or anything, give him loads of feedback, it's his first video, I think he's doing an amazing job, I'll put a link 
in the top of the description because I actually really want to see him make videos I have for the longest time and with your guys support I really think it would motivate him to keep uploading I want to see it man but yeah thank you very much for watching the video I really hope you enjoyed loads and loads of progress look at those melee stats right there thanks for watching I'll see you very soon and peace